Hey, what up, Facebook? Hey, it's Monday morning. I think it's the 24th, if I'm not mistaken. And just riding in this morning. Got a lot of stuff going on. And I got a hold of the Willie Lynch letter. So that's the next project. That's going to be the ne next episode on the Better Black America uh, talk radio show. Uh, should be uploaded this week probably uh, film or record on Wednesday of this week but uh, hey we got an agenda and then when you listen to Bloomberg wanting to champion black wealth you know Teflon Don can't be touched by the Democrats and Deontay Wilder got his <laughs> got knocked out by Tyson Fury but um, if you saw the fight that's pretty much what I want to just top, chop it up uh, this morning it's uh, Deontay Deon Deontay Wilder Cause last fight To keep it 100 with you He uh If he didn't drop him The way that he did It wouldn't have been a draw He would have lost the fight But since he dropped him You know it, it's, it's hard to Give him the L So they went with the draw And The way he came out You know If you saw the fight And if you didn't I uploaded the uh, His pre-fight uh, Walk walk in the man had on some look barbaric gladiator outfit and I took a picture of the screen and one of them I couldn't even post it because something in my spirit was like nah don't even put yourself out there because uh the man ain't humble and I watched the uh the way in I pretty much on Fox Sports 1 and uh, uh, watched a lot of the uh the pre-fight stuff leading up to that week and the man was talking I mean Reckless. I mean, he was talking about that man's cocaine addiction and that, you know, just really saying some sly stuff about Tyson Fury. And Tyson Fury, you know, on the way in came in about 275, you know, and Deontay Wilder came in at 231, in which I've seen him come in at like 208, 209, 210. So it really wasn't natural. But the first fight, every punch was a knockout. So I'm thinking with Mark Breland in his corner. That he's going to uh, do some, you know, some modifications and adjust, you know, his style to um, at least look good on the scorecards and be a little more busier uh, between the times that he's really trying to throw that haymaker, you know, double double left jab, uh, straight right, which is his bread and butter, you know. But I know that man, you know, from Alabama, that he has a spiritual. Uh, side. You can't come out of Alabama and don't know nothing about God because Alabama is, is the grounds that the slaves really walked on and still got cotton fields to this day. So I know the man is a believer. But something in my spirit was like, I don't know, this don't look right. When he came out with that outfit, I mean, that gladiator barbaric. And if you haven't seen it, it's on my timeline. That was his pre-fight entry. And he came out with D Smoke uh, from, the, from Inglewood who actually won the little rap contest. And uh, the man D Smoke you know he's he's uh he's doing his thing, and he's uh not putting Inglewood on the map, but he's he's bringing back a different conscious style of music. You know, outside of the drugs and you know the the things that will you know hurt the culture. So he's actually um, pushing forward. You know, some positivity stuff, and hopefully you know it it'll trend and you know music will start you know making that change instead of talking about death of jail because with the youngster uh, Pop Smoke from New York got killed last week in the Hollywood Hills and you know that's not a good thing so we, we, we're gonna have to start because I think um who was that DJ Quick you know when, when Biggie was ready to die and Tupac talked a lot about death you know I think DJ Quick was the one it's a song record saying you know you in a rap when you talk about death you're talking about you talk to the spirits you know it's law of attraction you know so we got to start speaking good things and speaking positive things but I know Deont Deontay Wilder is a, is a believer I know that without a shadow of a doubt, but it looked like he lost this way. Cause leading to the fight, like I said, he, you know, he used to praise God. He used to talk about God all the time, but now he, you know, he's on like, was on some type of rampage. And when you're a believer and you know what to do, sometimes that grand scale would be your life lesson, you know, because the Bible says he who exalts himself shall be, shall be greatly humbled. And it also says he who humbles himself shall be exalted. So it's really all in the humility that, you know, we can 
get that spiritual connection with us because like i said if you just that much greater than somebody ain't nothing gonna happen you don't have to do none of that but when you're on that on a grand scale like that you know they have to be some type of humility but when you're a true believer sometimes we're made examples you know that's why i pretty much tread uh the way that i tread or basically live the way that i live kind of like on the outs looking in you know because i know you know i'm targeted and i know you know things could flip up real real quick you know, but to, to stay on point, I know this man is a believer, but like I said, early in his career, all he used to do is just talk about how blessed he was and how he got God-given ability and God-given talent. But the man, you know, like I said, if, if, if you saw the outfit when he came in and had the red eyes, and to me, it looked demonic when I took the picture. And I was like, ah, you know, like I said, I'm not going to post it. I posted it the next day because some just like it didn't resonate with my spirit with that. So... To keep a long story short, the first round, it was pretty close, but I gave it to Tyson Fury. And I was watching with my fam, my brother, my cousin. And, you know, they was like, no, he won that round. I was like, yeah, but it didn't look, you know, like dominating. It looked like Fury is kind of filling him out. So Fury, you know, went to commit to kick the, I mean, come on, man. He, 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 he did my man wrong. Bust his eardrum. You know, even I think in one of the fifth or sixth rounds, he, he started licking his blood. Like, I want to taste your blood. But on that grand scale, to be humiliated like that. I mean, one time, he, I think in the second or third round, looked like he punched him and, and tripped him. And he and um, Dante Wilder was looking back like, no, that was a slip. That was a slip. But in the slow motion, he pretty much made him do a somersault, man, and bust his eardrum, you know. And the thing for me was post fight when the fight was over and they interviewed the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. You know, all the antics and all of the stuff that he was talking about. This man did a karaoke, start singing songs. And then when they put the mic in his face, the first thing Tyson Fury said, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And his corner, you know, and his, his entourage, all you can hear in the background, yeah, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. And I'm like, whoa, there it is right there. Because God loves everybody. And like I said, if you pray and you and you committed and you're consistent, man, he'll unlock doors for you. He'll, I mean, and like I said, I, I'm not saying Tyson Fury was, was humi you know, was, was doing it from a humility perspective, but he was pretty much being targeted by, uh, Dante Wilder with all his antics But to keep a long story short man You know stay prayed up Stay humble stay focused You know because God can't protect you Well I'm not saying he can't protect you But he, he'll let you learn that lesson And in front of everybody You know I've been there You know I've, I've been in situations where You know I got a little ahead of myself And had to eat crow but It's all in the humility You know so but on this Monday just wanted to chop chop it up with you got some things going on working the detail for the next it's 11 days got eight more to go but uh it's it's uh it's a good day monday god is good and like i said we're gonna we're gonna talk about the black condition so this next episode for better black america tv will be uploaded on youtube and i'll post the link on my facebook page but uh we got to talk about it it's time to heal time to get a black plan and we're going to talk about um, they did a poll and they talking about 79% of blacks plan not to vote if there's not a black agenda and Bloomberg saw that so he pretty much talking about you know champion blacks but with the stop and frisk is he is is he uh, is he pandering can he possibly get it done because my question is what's the bill what's the name of it um, when will you sign it into office if elected president and number two you know Donald Trump hear you, and I think he's going to do the same thing. So it's looking like black America is about to be the swing vote and we'll be making a decision of who's going to be the president of the United States. So with that being said, man, I'm jumping off this freeway right now. But man, Dante Wilder, brother, you lost your black card. Get hands put on you like that, nigga. <laughs> with that being said, man, y'all have a good day. It's Bouchon Glover, Better Black America TV on YouTube. Please subscribe. We got over 30,000 views overall. You know, that's nothing on the grand scheme of things, but, you know, we're still chopping wood. With that being said, man, have a good day. Peace out.